What's up guys, welcome back to another flea market grab video. If you do enjoy these videos though, please hit that like button, it lets me know. Uh, if, if you do like it, subscribe if you want to see more, and uh, drop a comment. I am actually on my way to the flea market right now, so hopefully we find some good stuff this week. Um, probably gonna have to split it into two parts, because uh, today's Tuesday, so, and I'm going today, so I'll probably show you guys what I get today, and then I'll show you guys what I get this weekend as well, but let's go ahead and go see what we can find today. How much are these? Five. You said 10? What is up guys, welcome back to another flea market grab video. So today is Tuesday, I'm going to show you guys what I got today and then we're going to skip ahead to this weekend and then I'll show you guys what I got then. Go ahead and jump in and show you guys what I got today. So I picked up two video games, both Game Boy Advance games. The first one is a copy of Pokemon Fire Red right here on the Game Boy Advance. This is one of the best Pokemon games you can play in my opinion, uh, besides like Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I ended up grabbing this for only five bucks. And also along with that, for $5, I also picked up a copy of Metroid Fusion. This is a game that I actually had, uh, but I ended up trading it. I don't remember for what. So this is a game I got rid of and I've been trying to find it ever since then and um, I finally got it back. But Pokemon Fire Red I have already, so this one I'll be getting rid of. Actually, this one I actually already sold, so this is one I already got rid of. I got both of those for $5 each and I already sold Pokemon for $25, bucks, so. I get to keep this one for free. Next, I actually got two Pokemon plushes. These are actually pretty cool because they're from 2001. So they're like original Pokemon plushes from when Pokemon Gold and Silver came out. The first one is this Totodile right here. If you guys can see right there on the tag, it says 2001. I thought these were really cool um, considering the fact that they're original plushes. Because I want to say Red and Blue, the original games came out in 1998 and then I want to say these came out in 1999 or 2000 in that area. Could be wrong. But I picked this up for 5 bucks. And Totodile was always my favorite starter of that gen. I know a lot of people like Cyndaquil but I always pick Totodile. And then also with that for 5 bucks I got a Pichu. And as you can see right there on the tag this one is from 2001 as well. So I thought these were cool considering how big of a Pokemon fan I was back in the day. I still enjoy the games, but the newer ones are not as good as the older ones. I grabbed those for $5 a piece. I think these sell for like $30, $35, $40 in that range. So I think it was a pretty good deal. And then moving on, we got one pair of sneakers for today. And that one pair is the Varsity Red 6s that came out in 2009. These are not the infrared ones, these are the Varsity Red ones, the darker red. A lot of people prefer these over the infrareds. But this particular color only came out one time and then was in 2009. These are pretty much beaters. Uh, they're pretty scuffed up, as you can see. But uh, I ended up only paying $10 for these. So I know somebody would end up wanting these for a restoration project and they have the lace locks. They are a size 13. If they were like a size 9, maybe I would consider restoring them and keeping them for myself. Uh, so sixes run big, so I'd probably need a size 9 in these. But they're not, they're a size 13, so I just got them to sell to somebody who wants to restore them. Um, and like I said, I only pay $10 for them anyway. That's those Varsity Red 6s for 10 bucks. That's what I picked up today, now let's jump ahead and see what I get this weekend, so let's go.
all right guys we are back it is the weekend i'm going to show you guys what i got this weekend so let's go ahead and jump into it because i do have quite a bit of stuff to show you guys so let's start off with the video gaming stuff the first thing i picked up is the gamecube control right here in the indigo this for eight bucks but these are always an easy twenty dollars um unless i actually end up keeping it because smash bros is coming out in like two months and you can never have too many gamecube controls so i ended up grabbing that for eight dollars so for fifteen dollars i found my first switch game uh at the flea market which is crazy and that is a copy of ARMS. This is not a game that I would have bought for retail. Like this game still sells for like 50 bucks at GameStop. Um, I think they give you like $28 in trade credit if I did decide to trade it in. But I'm probably just gonna keep it and throw it into my Switch collection since this is a first party title on the Nintendo. And there you go. Like I said, I got that for 15 bucks. And then for only $20, I ended up getting a Game Boy Advance SP right here. This is the like ice pearl blue or whatever it's called. And this is an AGS 101. And what makes this one even better is that it came with a copy of Pokemon Leaf Green. Unfortunately, it does not have the charger, um, but it did come with the game, so that's a plus. Already tested it, everything works great. Uh, whoever played the game had a very creative way of nicknaming their Pokemon and their character. But it works, and that's all I can ask for again. So we got a AGS 101 Game Boy Advance SP right there for only 20 bucks with Pokemon Leaf Green. Moving on, I have three hats to show you guys. I got all three of these hats for a dollar a piece. First one is this University of Alabama Zubaz hat right here. There you got the tag, made in the USA, one size fits all. Still pretty clean overall. It just seems to be a little reshaping, and uh, once I do that, it'll be good to go. And for only a dollar, we got the Texas Rangers 1995 All Star hat right here. This one is by Logo 7, and it actually still new with tags, as you guys can see. So anytime I can find hats like this, new with tags for only a dollar, of course I'm gonna pick them up. You just got the 1995 All Star right there on the front. So that's that one. And then for a dollar, I got this five panel rip and dip hat right here. It's like a wool. I don't have the most knowledge with these hats, but I know this is like a $20 hat, maybe 15, 20 bucks, but I only paid a dollar for it. Moving on to the clothing, we have a 1993 Dallas Cowboys Super Showdown shirt right here. This one is a size XL, so most likely I'm gonna be keeping it. You got Michael Irvin, Bill Bates, Emmett Smith, Jim Jeffcoat, you got Kony Casillas and Jay Novacek. There you go right there, size XL, my size. And if you guys know, I am a big Dallas Cowboys fan, so this is definitely gonna go into my personal collection. These next two, I got two for five. So it's funny that I just mentioned I'm a big Dallas Cowboys fan and then I picked this up. We got the Odell Beckham Jr. jersey right here, the New York Giants. This one is a youth medium, the jock tag. Still really clean and still in really good shape. Uh, this will be for sale because uh, I don't want this in my house. But with that, uh, I guess you could say I paid $250 for that. So I also paid $250 for this. 
and it is the BBC ice cream hoodie right here. You just got ice cream, ice cream, ice cream five times on the front. You got the big ice cream cone on the back. You have the tag size large. This one I might end up keeping, but I'm not 100% sure. I just really like the pink and the gray. As of right now, this is going into my personal collection, but uh, that might change. I don't know. Let's get into the sneakers. I actually have five pairs of shoes to show you guys that I got this weekend. So the first pair for only $10, we got a pair of the Powder Blue 10s. These are a size 6Y. My bad, these are a size 7Y. So I ended up picking these up for only $10. Um, he wanted 30 a piece on the two fives that you guys saw, the grapes and the fire reds. But, um, and, but for some reason he only wanted 10 on these. So I went ahead and grabbed these. I don't know if you can see the tag, but 7Y. To be honest, I probably would have grabbed the other two too, but I was actually running low on cash. So I had to pass on them and I just went ahead and grabbed these for $10. Moving on, we have a pair of Nike SB Dunk Highs. We have a, this pair right here. I don't think these have like an official name or anything like that. I just really like the colorway on these. I wish they were a size smaller. They are a size 11 and a half, but they are still super clean overall and he only wanted $10 for them. So that's why I went ahead and grabbed them. I'm pretty sure I can find somebody who would want these. Here is the other one. Uh, they are a size 11 and a half, like I said, so they're too big for me but I just really like the combinations of these colors on here and I'm pretty sure somebody will want them. Really the only issue with them is a little tiny bit of heel drag on the back. But other than that, still super clean overall. Next up, size 10 and a half, we got a pair of Air Max 95s right here in this all white and black colorway. Again, they're still pretty clean overall. They have a little bit of like red marks right there, but as you can see on the inside, they still got the Nike and the size tag and everything. Here is the other one. Uh, the only light issue with these is right here on the toe box. You got a couple little light yellow marks, but I should be able to get that out if I try. There is the tag, as you can see, size 10 and a half, but still pretty clean overall. So I went ahead and picked these up for $15. All right, guys, we got two more pairs of shoes. These two I paid $20 each for. So the first pair is these Wheat 13s right here. I know these are not like in perfect condition, but for only $20, you can't go wrong. These are a size 11, as you can see right there is the other one. They do have a couple little stains on the toe, but for only $20, they still have a lot of life left in them. And I know somebody will want these. And then last but not least, also for $20, we got a pair of the Olive 13s. I know these hit outlets and everything. I know the Wheats did too. But um, I know these are not like everybody's favorite pair of 13s or anything like that. But for only $20, I had to go ahead and grab these. These are also a size 11. Me personally, I actually am a fan of these because I actually do like the Olive 9s. So maybe I would have kept these if they were my size, but they are not. They're too big, so I'm going to let them go. But for only 20 bucks, I had to go ahead and grab them. The suede is a little ashy, but I'm pretty sure that's the way they came when they released. Other than that, they're still pretty clean overall. That's everything I picked up this week, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. It lets me know. Go ahead and subscribe if you are not already and you did enjoy the video. And drop a comment, and I will see you guys next week with another one. So, later. Thank you.